This is section 7.2, problem 19 from the statistics homework. We're told that steel rods are manufactured with a mean length of 20 centimeters. Because of variability in the manufacturing process, the lengths of the rods are approximately normally distributed with a standard deviation of 0 0.08 centimeters. Complete parts A through D. All right, so there are a couple key things that we were told here. One of them is that we have a normal distribution, approximately normally distributed. We're told that the mean length is 20 centimeters and the standard deviation is 0 0.08 centimeters. So we know that a normal distribution follows this bell-shaped curve. And so we can get an idea of what our distribution looks like. We know that the mean is going to be right in the center. And so we're going to have our 20 right here in the center. Now we also know that the standard deviation determines our inflection points and how far out our, um, our bulk of our graph goes. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract the standard deviation to the left and add the standard deviation to the right. So we end up with this normal distribution that has a 20 in the center and then counts up by 20.08, 20.16, 20.24 by adding the standard deviation. And to the left of the 20 is 19.92, 19.84, and 19.76 by subtracting the standard deviation to the left. Now that we know what our normal distribution looks like, we can start to answer questions about the proportions or probabilities. So part A says, what proportion of rods has a length less than 19.9. So less than means to the left of 19.9. And 19.9 would be just to the left of the 19.92. So I would draw it in right there. And then I would shade to the left of that. So I'm looking for the area to the left of 19.9. And I know that's really horrible shading, but um, we're looking for that area. So to find that area, the easiest thing to do is use the normal calculator in StatCrunch because we have a normal distribution. So I'll go stat calculators normal. I'm going to put in the given mean of 20. I'm going to put in the standard deviation of 0 0.08. And now less than normally means um, strictly less than, but because we have a continuous distribution, I can get the same proportion or probability by using a less than or equal to. So I'm going to put X is less than or equal to 19.9. And notice that their picture of the normal distribution matches what you've drawn on the screen. So we know we've we've got the right idea here. So our probability or proportion shows up in this answer box to the right of the equals sign, 0 0.1056. So here's 0 0.1056 and check our answer. Perfect. Now we're told that any rods that are shorter than 19.81 centimeters or longer than 20.19 centimeters are discarded. What proportion of rods will be discarded? So what I want for the shorter than, I want X is less than or equal to 19.81. So I'm going to change the X value over here to 19.81. 
and I get 0 .0088. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down. If you were doing the homework, you would write that down on your paper because you got to keep track of that number, 0 .0088. So that's the proportion that is shorter than 19.81. Now I want the proportion that is longer than 20.81. One nine. So longer is going to be a greater than or equal to. So I switch to greater than or equal to. I put in my 20.19. And again, I get 0 .0088, but notice that's over on the right side of the curve now because it's a longer than. So I'm going to write that one down as well. So I have 0 .0088 is my proportion that's longer than um, 20.19 centimeters. And now keyword here, or remember with probabilities, and that's what these are, proportions are probabilities, or means that you're adding. So I'm going to add those two probabilities. So over in my calculator, I'm going to put in 0.0088 plus 0 .0088. So 0 .0176 should be my answer here, 0 .0176. All right, perfect. Now part C, using the results of part B, if 5,000 rods are manufactured, um, in a day, how many should the plant manager expect to discard? So this is the proportion, part B, that's the proportion that the plant manager has to discard. And if we know that the plant can make 5,000 in a day, then the number that are discarded has to be this proportion, 0 0.0176, of those 5,000. So the way we figure that out is we do um, 0 0.0176 times the 5,000 that have been manufactured. That gives us 88 rods are going to be discarded. Okay, part D. If an order comes in for 10,000 steel rods, how many rods should the plant manager expect to manufacture? So in this case, we don't know how many the plant manager has to make, but we know that we need 10,000 at the end of the day. So how many does he have to manufacture um, if an order is for 10,000 steel rods? If the order states that all the rods must be between 19.9 centimeters and 20.1 centimeters. So first thing I want to do is find the proportion that is between 19.9 and 20.1. So I'm going to change to my between calculator. My mean and standard deviation have not changed. I get 19.9 and 20.1. So the proportion that are between 19.9 and 20.1 is 0.7887. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down. 0.7887. So that proportion of the number of rods that are manufactured, I'm going to call that x, has to equal 10,000 rods. And so this becomes an algebra problem now. The 0.7887x equals 10,000. I can find x by doing x equals 10,000 divided by 0.7887. So 10,000 divided by 
the plant manager is going to have to manufacture 12,680 rods in order to guarantee that 10,000 are going to be within the specifications. The reason we round up, we're not following the normal rounding rules here. Notice there's a 0 0.09 after the decimal. But if I rounded down at all, even that little 0 0.09 rounding down, then I would have I would not get my 10,000 total. So I'm going to have to round up to 12,680 rods. Okay, so the key idea here was that we didn't know how many needed to be manufactured, but we knew the proportion that would be within the specifications. So we could say what proportion of the number manufactured had to equal the amount that got ordered.